Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this afternoon's collective worship. Now, things are slightly different this week because um, this collective worship isn't just for the students of Blessed Robert Sutton, and it's not even just for the students of Blessed Robert Sutton, Holy Rosary, and St. Edwards. Um, from now on, these videos are going to be accessible to everyone in the St. Ralph Showing Trust. Um, so, welcome, and um, good afternoon if you're joining us for the first time. Um, my name is Will, I'm the lay chaplain here in Blessed Robert Sutton, Holy Rosary and St. Edwards. Um, and every Monday afternoon at Robert Sutton, we gather um, to do these collective worships. Now, you might not be doing this on a Monday afternoon, um, but either way, it is great to see you. This week, our word of the week is almsgiving, and let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nice one. So, as I said, this week our word of the week is almsgiving. So, your quick fire question for this week, of course, you know what's coming. It is, what is almsgiving? Have a chat with the people around you now. Nice one. Maybe we had a few varying answers there, but please let's just make it clear from the start, almsgiving does not include anything to do with your actual arms. In fact, I would probably most simply put it as showing love to others, and is commonly um, shown through giving to charity. It's one of our three main Lenten themes, so you may remember over the last few weeks, um, two weeks ago our theme was prayer, one of our Lenten themes. Last week it was fasting, again another one of our Lenten themes. So this week we have our, reached our third and final uh, like pillar of Lent, uh, which is almsgiving. And of course all of these are designed to help us to grow closer to Jesus. But how does this one help us grow closer to Jesus? Well, this one helps us grow closer to Jesus because it's what Jesus did. Jesus showed love to those around him all the time. I'm going to hear about his ultimate example of that in today's scripture. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My commandment is this, love one another just as I love you. The greatest love a person can have for his friends is to give his life for them. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So here it is, in the Gospel we hear Jesus telling us to do exactly what our theme of the week is this week, to show love to those around us, to love other people as he loved us. And then right at the end he reminds us that there is no greater love that someone can show than to give their life for someone else. Which is particularly important for us to be thinking about right now as we journey towards Jesus' death on the cross this Lent. And over the next few weeks as we journey closer and closer to Easter uh, we'll explore that a little bit more. But for today we're going to focus on that first part of scripture. How can we show that love that Jesus shows us to other people. Now I know down here in Burton and Swad uh, we've been doing some amazing things to uh, support those affected by the conflict in Ukraine and also those in need around the world when we've been supporting Kafod's walk against hunger and I know that across the trust that has also been taking place it's been amazing uh, to see that. But this week I want us to focus on the little things that we can do. I'd like you now to take out your planner or um, maybe your school's equivalent of a planner if you don't have one. Um, and for each day this week I'd like you now to think of a simple act of love and kindness that you can show to someone else and just write it at the top of each day to remind you to do it this week. If you're in one of our primary schools and don't have a planner I'd encourage you to write them across the top of the whiteboard as a whole class objective for this week. It could be I'm going to text my friend who I haven't spoken to for ages or maybe even I'm going to learn a new joke to try and make someone a little bit happier um, this week. Um, but whatever it is have a go at doing that in your forms or classes now. Nice one, hopefully we've got some really creative ideas for how we can show uh, love in our school communities over the next uh, week. And we remember that actually all of these acts of love are drawing us closer to Jesus because we're doing what he told us to do. And of course, another great way that we can get close to Jesus is by talking to him. So in a few moments time, we're gonna enter a time of prayer. But for now, I encourage you to just prepare yourselves by taking a few moments, take a breath to chill out, relax in your seat, uh, maybe close your eyes, put your hands together, take a deep breath and acknowledge God's presence in the room. Amazing. It's so wonderful for us to be here as a whole trust community uh, praying together for the first time this week. In today's activities we wrote ways that we can show love to the people in our own schools and the way that we can show love to those around us. And one of the best ways that we can actually show love to the people that aren't immediately um, around us is by praying for them. And so today I would like you to spend a little bit of time praying for the other um, students, other teachers um, in our trust.
Amazing. Secondly, today I'm going to ask us to be a little bit selfish, as I have been doing in these acts of worship recently, because Lent is about our personal relationship with Jesus. And I'm going to ask you to pray for yourselves and pray that God can give you the gifts uh, that you need to be the best version of yourselves and to show that love to others this week. And finally, I'd encourage you to think of someone that you know personally who would really could do with some almsgiving, some love uh, being shown to them. And pray that God can look after them and give them that love and everything else that they need this week. And remembering that almsgiving is following Jesus' example, we are going to join all of our prayers together uh, today by saying together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Awesome stuff. You've written your own missions for this week, guys. So your missions are those five things that you have set yourself to do um, this week. It's the end of the day on Monday. Actually, you might have not have written one for Monday. But there you go, there's another mission to try and think of one to do uh, for the rest of today. Um, but uh, yeah, your mission is to complete your five ways that you can show almsgiving this week. But that is it from me today. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you around. Let's end with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you later.